Hi, I'm Donna Wolf from Nastasia.com. Today, I'll show you how to crochet a Christmas gnome. To do this, you will need some experience with crocheting in the round. I'm using 150 yards of yarn and a size G hook. We'll start with the nose first. Red Heart's Latte Stripes has a variety of color choices for the nose. To begin, start with the magic ring, which is just a loose slip knot, and chain one. Make six single crochet stitches in this ring. It's important to crochet over that tail end as you make your stitches. By the way, this is one of those projects that I highly recommend you follow along with the written pattern on my website for complete stitch counts. Once completed, pull the tail end to close the ring. Slip stitch to close the ring. We'll always slip stitch after every round on this project. And we'll chain one for the next round. On this round, make two single crochet stitches in each stitch. At the end, we'll have 12 single crochet stitches on this round. Slip stitch, then chain one. For this round, we just want to make one single crochet in each stitch around. Slip stitch again and fasten off, leaving a longer tail end for sewing later. Now we'll make the beard section. I'm using a 5 inch tablet and wrapping the yarn around 25 times. Cut another strand of yarn and tie and knot the strands at the top securely. Trim them on the bottom. Now it's time for the body section. As before, make a magic ring and six single crochet stitches in it. Close the ring and slip stitch to close it. For round two, we'll make two single crochet stitches in each of the stitches around. At the end, you'll have 12 stitches on this round. For the third round, we'll do the pattern of two single crochet stitches in the first stitch, followed by one single crochet in the next stitch, two single crochet in the next stitch, then one single crochet in the next stitch, and continue with this pattern around. That's 18 stitches. For this next round, we'll do two single crochet, followed by one single crochet in each of the next two stitches. We'll continue with this pattern around. Now we're up to 24 stitches. The next round is two single crochet, followed by one single crochet in each of the next three stitches. As mentioned before, it helps to follow along with the written pattern. While it's mostly single crochet, the stitch counts can be a bit tricky. And one more round of increases. This time we'll do two single crochet in the first stitch, followed by one single crochet in each of the next four stitches. This will produce 36 stitches on this round once completed. And this is the last of the increase rounds. For the next 12 rounds, we're going to just do one single crochet in each stitch around. This will build up the body section of the gnome. You might want to get some fiber fill ready or some scrap yarn for stuffing. If your gnome is a decoration and not to cuddle with, I like to add some clean pebbles on the bottom to weigh it down. I add the pebbles. Then I add the polyester stuffing. Now it's time to decrease our stitches on this round. We do that by making a single crochet two together stitch first. If you've ever seen the way I do this with crochet toys, you'll know it's a bit different than a traditional together stitch. Then we follow up with one single crochet in each of the next four stitches. And we follow this pattern again. Do the two single crochet together stitch. I find that working in the front loops only like this makes a smoother, less bulky stitch. And feel free to use the traditional method if you wish. Then follow it up with one single crochet in each of the next four stitches. Continue with this pattern around. For this next round, we'll decrease even further. We'll start with a single crochet two together stitch. And then we do one single crochet in each of the next three stitches. Continue with this pattern around. 
Feel free to place more stuffing in as needed too. And finally, our last decrease round. Start with a single crochet two together stitch and follow it up with one single crochet in each of the next two stitches. Fasten off your work and cut a long tail end for sewing. It's up to you if you want to sew on the beard and nose now before you close everything up. Or you can wait until the end if you are familiar with that method. Next, you can take the long tail end and weave in and out of the stitches on top to cinch the piece together. And now the hat. We'll start with the magic ring and six single crochet again. The first 19 rounds are made a bit differently. For round two, we're just going to increase the first stitch. So place two single crochet stitches in it. Then for the remaining stitches, we just make one single crochet in each. Since we've only added one additional stitch to this round, we now have seven stitches on this round. Same with the next round. We're only going to increase one time. So make two single crochet in the very first stitch. Then all other stitches on this round just make one single crochet. Now we have just eight single crochet on this round. This slower increase forms a cone shape. Keep increasing until you have a total of 24 stitches around, which should be round number 19. For the remaining six rounds, we're going to go back to normal circle increases that repeat around. So for round 20, repeat the pattern two, one, one, one around. For round 21, it's two single crochet, followed by four singles around. Next round is two, then five singles. And as mentioned before, the written pattern has the complete info for all of these rounds. Feel free to stuff the hat a bit. If you haven't already, sew the beard and nose on at this time. Then sew on the hat. And that's it. That's how I make a cute Christmas gnome. And if you'd like to see other cute gnomes, check out my friend Lindsay from Winding Road Crochet. Thanks so much for watching my video. Please subscribe to my YouTube channel to get notified of new videos from me each week. And if you liked the video you just watched, be sure to check out my next video, which I think you'll like very much.